it makes them a very, very powerful tool for emergency response, for search and rescue, and many other applications. And you said uh, that the holy grail of this technology is to allow these, you know, to move about without GPS technology. That's correct. So what these robots have are sensors that can actually detect features in the environment like doors, windows, and they're able to localize with respect to these features. So they don't need any satellites telling them where they are. They have the cameras and the sensors that allow them to figure out where they are in the environment and reason about the environment and take actions that remotely located human operators just cannot. So they can sense their environment. John, I know that you're a pilot. What do you think about this technology? Well, I love it. I, it's fascinating. But what about privacy concerns? I'm sure there are a lot of people who are wondering, you know, is there going to be a drone flying over my house or my apartment building keeping an eye on, you know, what I'm having for breakfast? Well, that's indeed an important question. As with any other technology, you can always use it in ways it was not intended. But I have to remind you that today we're lots and lots of people with cell phones taking pictures, and the odds of having a picture of you showing up the Internet without you knowing about it are pretty high. Also, we have security cameras that are located all over campuses. Uh, for example, the University of Pennsylvania, there are, campus, there are cameras that are going to track you as you walk from one place to another, and this is just part of the world we live in. So we have to get used to some of this and other things we have to think about how we might legislate, how we might uh, have policies that might actually limit the way this data is used. And what about the way that this data is currently benefiting um, you know, people like first responders? Well, right now, as I, as I said before, this technology is really in a, in a stage of infancy, but I imagine a day where the first responders would really be... Again. I, as I said before, this technology is really in a, in a state currently benefiting, um, you know, people like first responders. Well, right now, as I as I said before, this technology is really in a, in a stage of infancy. But I imagine a day where the first responders would really be robots. Imagine a gunshot going off or a 911 call, and before you know it, there's a swarm of these robots with cameras, with microphones that are, have the ears and eyes uh, on the site providing information to human first responders that eventually do arrive on the spot. It is amazing stuff to watch. Thank you so much for joining us, and we appreciate it. By the way, you Thank can you very much for inviting me. You can catch Nova's Rise of the Drones tonight. It airs at 9 p.m. Eastern on PBS.